Rising early in the morning, we captured some photos of the surrounding landscape from our upper storey room. The hotel was a simple four-storey building. Some young people were getting in some physical exercises outside the entrance to the lobby. Breakfast was buffet style. Next door, a contractor was busy digging with a small excavator. Today we will travel from Ulm to the Austrian border, then back to Würzburg, about 700 kilometres. But first we drove through the city of Ulm, where Albert Einstein was born, and crossed the river Illa, a tributary of the Danube. We then parked alongside of the Danube. The view from here was very photo inspiring, looking across to the city and along the length of the waterway. Founded around 850, Ulm is rich in history and traditions as a former free imperial city and today an economic centre due to its varied industries. Ulm is also known to have the church with the tallest steeple in the world, 161.53 metres. Leaving Ulm, we travelled south towards München, Munich, and continued on towards the Austrian border, passing through many small villages and large areas of open countryside. everyone seemed to be heading south to the mountains. So as we progressed, the traffic slowed and stopped from time to time. With the Alps appearing in the distance ahead, some light showers began to fall. Horses on the hillside. No, they're not. They're uh, Camel. llamas. Camel? Camels. Camels. Approaching a long tunnel, traffic began to slow considerably and eventually stopped for some time, leaving us nowhere to go. Perth is not the only place with traffic problems. Eventually we were moving again. Maybe most of the slow traffic problem was at this intersection with vehicles turning left. What was, what's the name of this road? This little town is Fushin. Three views and then one that's not good that's coming in the garbage. Since we were Approaching the town of Fusen, oh, yeah. just five kilometres from the Austrian border, our next destination 
was the Hohenschwangau Castle. And you said it, we're five kilometers from the Austrian border. Austrian border. Say the name again, Linda, of the town. Which town? This town. Fusen? This is Fusen. Under the Nazi party, it was within the administrative division of Gauschwabia. Once through the town, we headed towards the Alps, catching a brief glimpse of the other castle on the way. On arrival at the Hohenschwangau castle site, we wandered with the crowd for a while, taking in the view. Seeing a souvenir store with some nice placemats for sale, we thought these were a must to take home. Horse and buggy rides seemed popular with the crowd. A tea garden was not doing too well at this time. The castle stood out on the top of the hill, making a good background for a photo. It was time for lunch now and the fish and chips were washed down with a share of a half metre jug of apple juice. With another view of the castle and the lake nearby, we headed out again, also catching a fleeting view of the other castle, Neuschwanstein, built later by King Ludwig II of Bavaria between 1869 and 1886. I suppose one reason for the king of Bavaria putting a castle here is to control the trade route over the Alps. Oh, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> this was the trade route over the Alps. The rain was steady at times as we passed through farm country and over the border into Austria driving through this beautiful landscape before heading north back to the town of Würzburg for the night. Is there a border? No. Right there. That's it. Okay, border. Now we're in Austria. I guess this river is the border. <laughs> Second exit and then drive straight ahead. Another white river. Yeah, it's pretty. Send those pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to send those pictures over the network, but uh, while you're driving, John, that's illegal in Germany. Oh, I'm just looking to see if they're going. <laughs> 